Tonight, authorities are still trying to figure out why. Not only about this shooting, but another deadly shooting that happened in Beach Grove just hours later. Hello and welcome. I'm Mark Mullins. Nicole is off tonight. We start with the latest from the mass shooting at the Greenwood Mall. This afternoon, authorities identify those killed. They say 30 year old Victor Gomez was the first victim shot outside the food court restroom. Then husband and wife Pedro and Rosa Pineda were shot while eating in the food court. A 22 year old woman was injured in the leg and a 12 year old girl was injured by a bullet fragment. We have live team coverage for you tonight. We begin with WRTV's Nikki Dementry live outside the Greenwood Park Mall with new information from police tonight. Nikki. Mark, shaken to the core, it's a phrase we heard time and time again since last night. It's a phrase we heard time and time again this afternoon. This less than 24 hours after that mass shooting unfolded behind me here at the Greenwood Park Mall, they share a timeline with us. Police, I should say, share that timeline that they pieced together using surveillance video. I want to go through everything we know at this moment. Now, police say the shooter, 20-year-old Jonathan Douglas Sapirman of Greenwood, entered the mall just before five last night and went straight to the bathroom. He stays there, authorities say, for an hour and two minutes before he walks out and starts shooting. In a span of two or so minutes, Sapirman shoots 30-year-old Victor Gomez, then husband and wife, 56-year-old Pedro Pineda, and his wife, 37-year-old Rosa Miriam Riviera de Pineda, in the food court. Police say a 22-year-old woman and a 12-year-old girl, girl were also injured. Now, by 5.57, a 22-year-old armed man from Seymour engages the shooter firing off 10 rounds and ultimately kills him. Law enforcement notes in the bathroom, Sapirman left a second rifle in a backpack along with multiple magazines and more than 100 rounds of ammunition. His cell phone police note was found in a toilet. Now, as for the rifles they recovered, both were not modified and both were purchased legally at gun stores in Greenwood in March of 2021 and March of 2022. Authorities and Sapirman also had a pistol on him at the time of the shooting. I don't want to be among the mayors that has to share these statements, but sadly I am. I grieve for these senseless killings and I ache for the scars that are left behind on the victims and on our community. And as we stand here in shock, I'm proud of my first responders who instantaneously responded to the scene. Now overnight, authorities executed a search warrant at Polo Run Apartments. You see that video on screen just now. It's just a three minute drive down the road from the mall where Sapirman lived alone. Inside, they found the oven on a high temperature with a laptop and butane, which is a highly flammable gas inside that oven. Now tonight, a motive remains unclear at this point. The FBI is working towards cracking that cell phone. It was wet, so they're working at recovering any data from that, as well as that laptop, which police say was damaged in that oven. Nikki, you mentioned the, the suspect and those chilling details. He spent an hour and two minutes in the bathroom. Was there anything that we're learning about his background? Did the police uh, let us know anything about the suspect and any kind of criminal record up to this point? Sure, Mark. Police say the 20 year old had no adult criminal record, but he did have a juvenile record. They say that the family had no idea any of this was going to happen. They saw no signs of any of this was going to happen. They did say that he was practicing shooting at a local shooting range here in central Indiana. They also say that he didn't drive. So they actually said last night he walked to the mall before carrying out this mass shooting, Mark. 